Okay, good evening everyone. We're about to get started. If you will take your seats. We started a little bit late, so thank you for your patience. I'm Tierney Tennant, the Executive Director of Communications for the Irving Independent School District. And tonight, this is an opportunity to get a quick overview of the search for a brand new superintendent, and then also give you all an opportunity, if you have not already, to complete the input form. There are Chromebooks in the back, and then also some paper forms in both English and Spanish as well. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Board of Trustees President, Mr. Randy Randall. Thank you all very much for, uh, for being here and uh, for John Haley and Sanders and the crew for uh, hosting us tonight. This is one of three meetings that we will have uh, this week. Uh, so I want to just thank you all for being here. Uh, also, I'd like to introduce, uh, I am Randy Randall. I'm the president of the board this year. Uh, we have one other board member here with us tonight, uh, Ms. Hyde, who's right here. In fact, she's our newest board member, was elected last May, so she's come on and done a great job. Um, what we are, as you all know, that we, November the 1st, we, the board voted to consider internal candidates, so that would be anybody that works within the district to consider anybody internally for the superintendent position before we go out and conduct a statewide or national search. So. That's the process we've, we've taken on. Um, but I can assure you that whatever, wherever we find our superintendent, whether it's internally or we decide at some point to do, to, to expand our, our uh, search, the, uh, the students and the staffs and the teachers and our employees are gonna be at the utmost uh, important for what we're looking for, who will lead our district and who will uh, take us to where we think we, should, we belong and where, what we deserve. And so uh, that is our focus as a board and uh, we take it very seriously. And uh, so what we are, the reason why we decided to look internally uh, first is after we kind of made the transition of the uh, previous superintendent leaving, uh, we want to just kind of have a period of where you know things kind of just let's kind of through the transition we just kind of get back to normal, calm things down a little bit, so we can all kind of get back to work and, and doing what we do, which is focus on our students. Uh, since then, we heard some uh, we've heard very positive feedback. Uh, we feel like we have some very capable uh, people uh, in the district that are continuing to lead us and uh, that, will that will continue to lead us. So we thought, well, let's, one thing, it takes money to hire a search firm. Uh, and when you do a statewide and national search, you're bringing usually somebody from the outside in, which causes some additional transition time and period. Uh, whoever that is then has to get to know your community as a whole in Irving. They also have to get to know our school community, uh, and that takes time. So we felt it was uh, important to let's look internally first and see if we can find that person that fits the profile we're looking for, that already knows our community, already knows our teachers, our students, already knows our culture here in Irving ISD, and we feel like if we can find that person that fits our profile and fits what we're looking for, that we will be able to basically hit the ground running you know, quickly and, and make some, uh, uh, or not, I don't think we're looking for drastic changes uh, as a board. We're just looking to get our refocus on our students. I think is really what the board's looking for. Uh, our, our students and our teachers and treating people with respect and value and working together as a team to uh, to help every student achieve at their maximum potential. So that, that's really what we're looking for. Um, so that's the reason why we kind of look internally, chose to do that. We have an application process in place now. So uh, applications are being taken from any internal candidates. That will close on November the 16th, on Friday the 16th. Um, so tonight what we're doing is we're basically here asking for your help. The board, we have already developed uh, 
the board has already done this survey that we were going to ask you to take and participate in. We've already done this as a group, so we have already kind of compiled our board profile of what we're looking for. So what we're now doing is we're going out to the community in these three meetings and we're wanting to find out what you are looking for. What are qualities and characteristics in the superintendent that you feel most important? Um, so as we do that at these three meetings, we'll have laptops that are set up in the back that you can take the survey online on the computer. We have paper copies that you can do it by hand if you're old fashioned like me. You can do it by hand and leave them with us. And then what we're going to do is take uh, the survey that's online. You can you can do that anytime. It'll be open until I guess midnight. The 15th. The 15th, which is a Friday, uh, Thursday. So you can do that through Thursday night. Um, we will compile all that information and we'll get it to our our great folks and our uh, I don't know what department you call that our research. our research and number crunching department. And they will put all this data together and put it to uh, with what we've gotten from the surveys online as well as these three public meetings. They will put that together to form and help us see what our public, our public community uh, is, what their profile looks like and the qualities and characteristics of the superintendent that they want. We will then take that and mesh that with the boards. Uh, I feel reasonably confident that it will be very similar. Uh, but we will take all that information and basically compile our profile for our superintendent and our characteristics that we're looking for. Once we get that, then um, we will interview the internal candidates later this month in November. Uh, and in the process of interviewing them, we will use this profile of the characteristics and qualities that you as the community have have provided for us and we will see if that if we can find the right fit for the person that we feel is to lead our district um, and once we go to that once we get to that point if we can find that person then the board will have some decisions to make if uh, if we don't then we basically start the process and look other places um, but we're taking one step at a time we feel very confident that we will be able to uh, find somebody internally, uh, otherwise we wouldn't have chose to look inside first. We are very confident, we have very qualified professional people and top-notch educators that care about kids. Uh, so, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to thank you for your input that you'll give us and your continued support for our district. Um, I can assure you we will do our best to pick the right person for this district to lead us in the next uh, in the next few years, uh, someone that's a visionary and that remains focused on our kids and our students. That that's that is real. That's the mission we have in Irving ISD. It's all about the kids and supporting our teachers and 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 really making ourselves as a team, whether it's from our facility and cafeteria folks. It's it all plays a part in educating our kids. Um, I've told the story. So when I met with the uh, facilities people and they had all the, I guess the custodial staff was there at the beginning of the year as well as the food service people, I do not remember all of my elementary school teachers. But I do remember the lunch lady that took my money every single day. <laughs> and uh, in fact, she just passed away about two months ago. Um, and I remember her, always smiling and always loved me no matter what kind of mood I was in at Otis Brown Elementary School. So I, I can attest to you that everybody in our district makes an impact. Uh, I don't remember all my high school teacher, teachers, but I do remember Mr. Wells, who was the custod lead custodian at, at Nimitz. Uh, always talked to us in the hall. If you, if you couldn't get to the council, you'd go talk to Mr. Wells. Uh, <laughs> and he had uh, some very insightful uh, inside on what we should be doing at, at, at school uh, and very positive and so it's, it takes a team effort I think we're all on board with that so with that we're gonna we have refreshments uh, you can fill out we would love for you to hang around and fill it out tonight either the paper ballots or at the computer you can do it we have some 
refreshments here, you're welcome to, to have. Uh, Ms. High and I will be around. I'll take questions as a group. If you have any questions, I'll be certainly glad to answer any questions uh, that you may have, or we'll also hang around afterwards for a while, and that way if anybody wants to come up and ask us anything, we'll do our best to answer any questions you may have from the board perspective. So, are there any questions? Yes, I just want to make a comment. My, my name is Mary Detective, and I am very proud that you guys, you as part of as far as the board, decided to uh, search, do the search in in house. We've, I've always thought that that should be it, but I'm, I'm glad you decided. So, I'm very Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else? There is now on the survey paper or online. I don't, there is not a place for general comments or additional comments. Uh, so it's not open-ended. We've tried to, uh, we, we were given advice to try to keep it pretty structured. Otherwise you get a wide range from, you know, from here to here. And we're not going to find that person that's perfect. Uh, so we wanted to really look at the qualities that we can we can see. So if you take the survey and you see a quality or characteristics that you just really feel is important to you and it's not uh, on that list, feel free to let us know uh, either tonight or you can send us an email. Our emails are on our dis on the district website. Uh, we've already gotten a couple that uh, from folks that took the survey and had some additional thoughts and uh, we will certainly take all of that information in and will be presented to the board. So. Uh, any other questions? I have one about. I have one about internal applicants. Do you know yet? Do they have to have a certain certification? Do they have a PhD? <coughs> what do you know about that yet? I mean, just the fact that internal people apply. Uh, I believe they have to have a superintendent certification. Okay. Um, other than that, we have several in our district that do have that. No, we have several in our district that I believe have that superintendent certification that are qualified, you know, by the state that they can be. Most of your administrators have that superintendent. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, I have not even checked, so I do not know how many people have applied. Um, I have not asked. And well, there's still plenty of time for that. Yeah, so we have so Thursday or Friday. It is yes. just concentrated on the administration people, the people that have building, or is it? <coughs> Out. It's open to anybody that meets the qualifications. They do have to have a superintendent certification, and, okay. and I think other than that, that's I mean other as far as educational. No, PhD is not required. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to be looking at people that have building administrative uh, experience, like they've been a principal? The building, are, you, are you going to be looking at that, sir? Obviously, we would like them to have as much experience as they can uh, within the district, whether it's at a campus level or administrative level. Um, I can tell you from my perspective, personally, I'm not speaking, I'm not speaking for the board. I'm not speaking for the board. My personal opinion is, is I'm looking for somebody that knows how to surround themselves with top quality people and will empower them to lead us in the future. And that will treat people with respect and value. Even when we disagree, we do it in a way that is always promoting our district and our students. And so that's that's my personal opinion on what, what I'm looking for. So I'm not looking for I have not created this box that I want to fit them in. Uh, and I don't think the board has either. I think we're looking for somebody that, you know, so, sometimes you just got to take the qualifications and you see what we get in. And sometimes it's the old fashioned way, you just got to go with a gut feeling. Because we have talked to a lot of districts, we've been in training, a lot of people have done the national, done the national searches. It's not a guarantee if you do this big search that you get somebody that's the right fit for you. I mean, uh, you know, we've been through two of those this in the district. Uh, superintendents have, you know, and they both have brought good things to the district and done good things. 
but they lasted, you know, four to five years. Uh, you know, I think we would love to have somebody that we could bring on that we just, you know, would, would be here a good foundation for us for the next, you know, 10 to 15 years. So uh, that's what I think we're looking for. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Well, we started actually on November 1st is when the board voted on the process to start looking internally first. Up until then, we have been just kind of gathering information. Uh, we, the board's done some training on the search process, so we've, we've kind of been preparing ourselves for this uh, as a board. So November 1st is when we actually started. Uh, they actually voted to look inside first, and then we just kind of go through that process and see where that leads us, yes. Yes, ma'am. I think they, I can't, you kind of answered my question. But. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Are you looking for an age appropriate? I mean, are you looking for an older, well experienced person, or are you just looking at qualifications that maybe be, could be somebody within the district already? That's that question again. Okay. Are you looking for somebody age? Wise, an older, more experienced person. Okay. Like somebody who's coming in with zero experience. This is a big pair of shoes to fill the mess that we're in right now. I would hope they would be, I'm looking for somebody really young and energetic like myself. <laughs> uh, no, I think that, like I say, we're not, obviously we want them to have experience. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, it just depends on the qualifications I bring to the table, but I think we would want them to have some administrative experience. Uh, you know, we have several uh, assistant superintendents and directors that have cert cert that are certified to be superintendents. So, uh, uh, most of them are, I'd say, younger, uh, younger than me, and uh, so I. Uh, be an infant. They're younger than you. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they would be. Uh, I think so. I don't think we have any age criteria we're looking at. I think we're just looking for the right person that's got some passion and energy that uh, plans to be here for ten to fifteen years. Yeah, we, we're not looking for this as a stepping stone position to move up to someplace else. And maybe somebody that can stop this injury school, inner city school, we've got the one, and that's exactly where Irving is headed. Is there, I mean, somebody that can stop some of this? We are looking for somebody that can help us solve all of our problems. <laughs> we're not going to find, we're not going to solve them all, but we're going to sure get somebody that can <laughs> put a team together that can, uh, I think, lead us and, and focus on our students. Yes. I want someone also that can help our teachers. I want someone, I, someone who the teacher says, I'm having a problem with this, but they listen to them. That's what I want to see. And someone who knows that those teachers are the most valuable employees that we have. I'm not saying that the superintendent's not, don't get me wrong, but the people in the classroom, in the trenches, are the people who need a lot of support. I am not. Okay. Yep. Well, in that characteristics, I think it probably has some characteristics related to that. Uh, but if not, I, uh, I think we have somebody taking some notes on your comments, so we will get these notes also, even though I'm not writing them down. This has got a memory like a elephant. She remembers everything. Especially if you say things I agree, I know. <laughs> <laughs> do not feel like they have anybody they can talk to, especially if they have. Yeah, they, they used to, and we have, and I think some of the board, we've talked about that, so uh, that's probably something we're going to look at, come up with a system that, uh, no matter who the superintendent is, come up with a system that has a way that teachers or anyone can have a voice uh, that can get that the board can be more aware of the concerns that we have that otherwise we may not know. And some of these teachers, they don't have a clue what they really can do in a situation because they have a principal that's not real. 
helpful. Yeah. And then they just shut down because they don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, I think the board has, has talked about all that, trying to come up with a little better system that can uh, the board can be a little bit more accountable uh, for ourselves and for our folks that we can get a little bit more of a, a streamlined the communication line that the board is more aware of, of what's happening, what's going on, and make it easier for our community and teachers to give us some input. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. If you have such a great time, you can also be at Irving High School tomorrow night. Oh, 